Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by the newest driver of the money team. It is finally here. It's actually happening. Kaz Grella, the driver of the number 50 Chevrolet for the money team. How's it going, Kaz? <laughs> Uh, it's going really well, as you can probably imagine. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty exciting to finally be able to say this. I know the money team has been working on it, working on it for years. So it's been a long time in in the coming, but uh, they put it together. We are going to be at the Daytona 500. We're going to have to make the race, but we will be there. And, and we hopefully will be on that grid come Sunday. February 20th. So really, really exciting stuff. And definitely, I mean, a a monster opportunity for me. So let's talk about now we can finally talk about this. When did this all get put together? Well, I mean, I've been talking to Will Oshmoody uh, at the money team for over a year now, about a year and three months. Um, Towards the end of 2020, we had started talking about things in advance of 2021 and we were working on things. We just hadn't really gotten our, our footing and our traction. And, and I, you know, I'm sure the pandemic had a lot to do with uh, stalling out their, their traction early on, but as things have kind of been able to return a little bit more to normal, you know, people are able to put their focus and their budgets on, uh, you know, the, the classic stuff again, and we are up and rolling. It's finally reality. So, you know, I, I would say this, this for sure came together uh, about a month and a half ago. Um, but, you know, it, it, there was plenty of lead up but up until that point where it actually happened. I think the first time I put pen to paper for these guys was actually, it would have been, I think, back in November. So, it's been definitely a few months that, that we've been working on this together collectively and um, everything came together. Thanks to our friends at Pit Viper. Uh, we will have the loudest and most visible car on the track in Daytona. I, our spotter is not going to have any trouble seeing it. So uh, I love that. I love that. You just put on the sunglasses. That's great. I was ready. <laughs> you were ready for that. And actually, at, at any moment, hopefully we get this done. I have a, I have a few more questions. But any, at any moment, we could be bumped for a Floyd. Ma- so he's actually going to be meeting up with possibly Floyd Wayweather in a matter of minutes. So, yes. Uh, yeah. He, the first time you've ever met him. is it, Would that be the first time you are going to meet him? Uh, via FaceTime, yes, that that will be the first time. So far, I've been working with his team, his inner circle. Um, but, you know, I, as you can imagine, he's got quite the schedule. So, you know, finding a time when, when he's able to, to jump on a, on a Zoom call or FaceTime and, and have a meeting face-to-face, you know, we, we work around his schedule. So uh, it sounds like here uh, coming very soon, he's, he's going to have some time after this announcement here to, to talk to me. So that should be really cool. I'm, I'm pumped about that. Absolutely. So I know that last week we, when you were on, you talked about alpha prime that you're going to be running those races. Of course, now this is out there, but this is not all your plans. It's not, it's not, there's uh, there's still more to come, believe it or not. Um, in fact, like likely, not necessarily for sure, but most likely the bulk of my schedule actually still to come. So uh, you should you should be expecting to see that, I'd say in the next few days. And we will of course, obviously report that when that gets announced, um, it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. It, I'll just say that. I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it will be fun. Um, so let's go, you're back in the Daytona 500 again. And, uh, to be, be back here, you've said, you said actually last week when you were on here that you wanted to be in Daytona. Now that you're in Daytona, what's that going to be like to, uh, to be driving for, to launch as the driver of the money team? Well, I love it. You know, I, I really, as a competitor, I feel like I thrive under pressure and, Frankly, there's no lack of that in this situation. You know, I, I know what it's like to go down to Daytona as an open car and have to race our way into the event. I did that last year. 
it is, you know, it's stressful. You're sweating bullets. You know, there's so much that can happen that could end your week down in Daytona and result in you not being on that grid on Sunday. But uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm one for one here on, on making the Daytona 500. So mm-hmm. not quite a, not, not exactly a 50 and 0 per, perfect record, but I'll take one for one. It's a start. Um, and so hoping to go two for two here this year, you know, I, I feel like between the Tony Uri Jr. in the car and our ECR engine, uh, all the support we've had from, from Pit Viper and from the Mayweather group, you know, I feel like we've got a, a really great piece that we're taking down there and we'll hope for the best. You know, I'd, I'd like to think that my experience there will, will be able to pay off and help us, uh, at least get through the duel, if not lock in. Uh, on on time Wednesday night so um, we'll be stressed we will definitely be stressed and and we don't even know yet exactly who all we're racing you know there's been lots of rumors about how many cars and who will be at the race trying to make it but until we actually unload our haulers there we won't know for sure who and how many we have to beat to get into the race but um, I'm feeling confident about it um, you know, it's no easy task, but I, I think we can do it. So, um, I'm ready to get there and get that part over with. I'm going to be really thrilled on Friday if we're in the race and it's finally a relief. And yeah. from there we get to just go out and do what we do, you know? Yeah. Okay. So of course you get to work with Tony Uri Jr. Again, of course you guys work together as my good friend and preview show co-host, Jonathan Fiel pointed out that you guys worked together in 2018 when you were with the Fury team. Um, also how many races do you guys plan on running? Because, uh, uh, your, uh, your, your co-owner team, co-team owner just went on Sirius XM and said about maybe 15, 16. What are we thinking? You know, that's the goal. Yeah. Certainly that is not set in stone as of right now. You know, we're, we're going to do some races with pit Viper. They're mm-hmm. really excited about it. And so are we honestly, what could be the, the, more perfect brand fit to launch a Floyd Mayweather uh, team in NASCAR than Pit Viper. They've got that same energy, that same excitement, that same fun. Uh, I love it. So we're definitely going to do some races with Pit Viper, but beyond that, we're a brand new team. This is, you know, it's an organization in its infancy. So as we add sponsors and partner with more companies, we'll add races. So we don't know where that's going to land yet for a number. We have absolutely no ballpark on that. But we're really hoping that this announcement gains a lot of traction. We're hoping that we do well in Daytona and, you know, we make a great debut for our team. And that will help set ourselves up for selling more sponsorship and being able to run more races this year. I, I know it's no secret um, Will Oshmoody is hoping to run full time in 2023 aren't we all? So that's the goal that we're all working towards. Uh, so whatever it takes to, to try to get there, we'll fill in the pieces along the way. So, um, as I mentioned before, the bulk of my season is likely going to be announced in a couple of days, but I'm hoping that doesn't even end up being the bulk of my season. I'm hoping that, that on the cup side here, we're able to find enough sponsorship to run that many races or more. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm excited about all the possibilities and with, with a big name like Floyd in our corner, no pun intended. Uh, you know, I, I think that we've got a great chance at being able to market ourselves and gain partnerships along the way. Absolutely. All right. Well, Kaz Gorella, I know you have a, you have a big meeting with the boss uh, coming up here just in a few minutes, but Kaz Gorella, thank you for taking some time to talk about this major announcement. That's right. Kaz Grala in the number 50 Chevrolet for the money team is going to be at the, is going to be trying to get in the Daytona 500. Kaz, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, thanks.